Dear Diary, I went to Paris Fashion Week. I had to do a lot before I left for Paris. I had to buy a streetwear outfit, pick a dress for the show, straighten my hair, and pack my suitcase. Where are we, Mum? We're in Paris. We're in Paris. I just came from Germany to Paris. Uh, I was staying with my friend in Germany. And then I took the train, it was like five hours, and I met my mum here. I'm like talking really quiet because we're showing a hotel room and she's like hikey judging me whenever I'm like vlogging, so I'm like, I don't want that energy. Anyways, she has really bad energy because I literally met her earlier and she was like, oh, your face. Because I have this spot right here and it's kind of bad and I've like covered it with too much makeup right now, so it like looks weird, but it's like bad. And I sent a selfie of myself to my boyfriend and he was like, damn. So everyone's like coming at me because I have a spot. Anyways, we're spending the night in Paris. We're going to see the Eiffel Tower and then sleep. And tomorrow we have the fashion show. I'm literally in the middle of eating a spaghetti bolognese but the restaurant that we're at doesn't have a view of the Eiffel Tower and I really want to see it sparkle um, which it only does on the hour so I'm now walking like in the middle of my meal to go find the Eiffel Tower and watch it I can see it in the distance I'm so excited, I've been to Paris before, once before but it was during the day so I never got to see the sparkling or anything and so I'm really excited. I don't know why I'm so excited. I don't know. <laughs> Eiffel Tower was five stars, top tier, super magical. But side note, has anyone seen the reviews on the Eiffel Tower? They're like strange, 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 strange. <laughs> So we just finished food and now I want to take like pictures with the Eiffel Tower in the background but my mum doesn't want to take pictures of me, she wants to go to bed so I need to convince her Well diary, we did take pictures but they didn't turn out so well and then, to make matters worse, when we got back to our hotel, this happened. I need to be trying to get it, it's not working. Um, we're locked out of our hotel. We briefly got locked out of our hotel because the man locked it. Bonjour, mon petit pot. Moi. I don't know French. <laughs> um, I stole bread. I will show you some bread that I smuggled out of the restaurant. I really like bread. Bonjour, bonjour, maman, bonjour, 
<laughs> Wake up early. Check. Good morning, Perry. So, I was gonna straighten my hair, but it's supposed to rain today, which it wasn't supposed to rain today until, like, I literally just said on the weather, it just changed. So now it's supposed to rain today. And so I can't really be bothered to straighten my hair because if it's gonna rain, like, it's gonna go curly again. But then, like, I don't wanna, like, wet it now and just have it curly and style it curly because, like, I spent so long straightening it the other day that I'm just like, I don't wanna waste that. Yeah. I hope it doesn't rain. So I have two possible outfits that I can wear today. And one of them actually has a hood. If it is gonna rain, a hood is kinda of helpful. Okay, so I've just got it on. It took me like 10 years because I was like getting stuck and I didn't figure out how to put it on for like five minutes. Anyways, this is the dress. I would need to add different underwear, that would be. But I kind of like the whole hooded thing. The theme of the show we're going to is first shield, so I wanted to like kind of look like a little bit, like a little bit silver, like a knight in armor. And I thought a hood is so knight. It's giving knight. And so that was kind of my theme for my outfits for Paris. And the back is super cute. The back is my favorite bit. Oh my gosh, my mum's singing in the shower. Please ignore that. It's something different and it's fashion week. I want to do something really, really different from what I usually do. So I feel like it's, I feel like it's a fit. Yeah. Okay, hair-wise, my curly haired self spent like hours straightening my hair a few days before the show. And then I avoided water completely as if I was one of those mermaids from H2O. And then I did end up straightening it again on show day just to get it a little bit less frizzy. And then, yeah, it actually did rain just, just before the show. So. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Kinda of feeling like a badass bitch right now. Per. Look hot. Check. Come in. Scoochie patoochie. Je m'appelle. Um. I think we're gonna take the train now. I don't really know what we're doing too much. It's an adventure. <laughs> Eat a crass or crass. I never know if it's crass or crass. Croissant, check, croissant, check. in the carousel to leave and there's like a bunch of little shops here. It's fancy, isn't it? We're gonna try and go on this Ferris wheel. We're on the big wheel. So our adventure was kind of a success because we found something fun to do. I'll show you the view. Prettiest view. <laughs> yeah, it is actually a good view, isn't it? Are you happy to be in Paris? Oui. Are you happy to be in Paris? Oui. We have 40 minutes until we have to check out of this hotel and then we're going to get lunch and then we're going to go to the show. Um, so yeah, we have 40 minutes to like pack up and get ourselves like ready. Um, and I want to take a couple of pictures. Outfit do. This is my mom. This is the dress she's wearing. It's very nice. This is me, this is what I'm wearing. It's a little bit big, so I have to like pin the pins. <laughs> so I had to pin it, but I just unpinned it. So, so it's a little bit of an issue at the moment. Yes, diary, my dress was falling down all day, but I look cute, no regrets. <laughs> 
avec plaisir et puis bah, si vous avez des questions. <laughs> so after we checked out of our hotel we got a taxi that took us to like the location of the show and we found this uh, restaurant nearby like literally like 50 meters away and we ate a nice lunch there I had salmon it was so nice anyways then I went to the toilet right just as we were about to leave and I thought I locked it I really really thought I locked it but I wasn't like certain certain and turns out I didn't lock it and like some like lady came in and she was dressed really nice stuff so I think she's going to the show as well because a bunch of people that are dressed nice are here so like everyone's just like waiting for the show anyways so that was really embarrassing because um, now like I'm gonna be sat in a show with someone that just saw me and my private bits on the toilet so like I'm really embarrassed and there was two women as well because there's another one in the queue so uh, gonna kill myself anyways I'm really excited so yeah that's my little update I'm gonna go to the show in like 15 minutes there were lots of photographers and guests lined up outside the venue and we all just waited around and people were mingling a little bit and then the doors opened and we went in and there was lots of waiting inside for the venue to fill up um, but we had such amazing seats which was yeah just perfect and it was so exciting you about the show. There were beautiful suits paired with umbrellas and suits with these long pretty trains. There were big dresses, a black one that looked particularly sinister and towards the end of the show there was a red one that was my favourite. There were gorgeous dresses with sparkles and crystals that looked almost like raindrops models were absolutely beautiful and I only hope that one day I can model and walk as well as they did. It was a truly elegant show and I'm so thankful to Julian Fournay. He is an incredible haute couture designer and my mum and I had the best, most unforgettable time at his show, First Shield.